Hello everybody, I'm James Graham, General Manager of Quick Boats. Today, we're down here at Cottesloe Beach, about to go for a bit of quick boating. But firstly, we'll show you how quick and easy it is to assemble this 3.7 metre adventure quick boat. So what we've got here is two bags. Bag number one consisting of the hull, and bag number two of all the parts and pieces. So we'll take a moment to pull this apart and show you how simple this process is. So, firstly, we unzip bag number one. Just like so. Here we have the quick boat. We'll pull this out of the bag and get ready to assemble. Okay, so here we have bag number one. Now what looks like a stand-up surfboard is actually the quick boat. And what we do is we simply reach under, grab our extender pole and begin unfolding the boat. Now I'm doing this single man today. I can easily do it with a couple of mates as well, but uh, I'm gonna go and enjoy the water by myself in a few minutes. So it's as simple as popping the extender bar in, pulling the hole out, and hey presto, here we start see the start of the boat unfolding. We then come across to our bag number two. Now this has all our seats, foredeck, nose comb, and transom. We'll open this up, lay the parts out, and we'll show you how simple and easy it is just to drop the parts in as we build the boat up. Here we go. So this is bag number two. In a few moments we'll show you how easy it is to pack this up. But what we'll do now is just unclip the parts, lay them out, and begin the assembly process. So we've got our crew member's seat. Pop that one out. Four deck, nose cone. Pop these ones out. Just a bit of padding to, uh, to keep the parts separate. Get those out the way. This is our motor plate. That's what we'll put our parson motor on in just a few moments time. Beautiful skipper seat, ready to go. We'll just pop that one down like so. Transom. Cross brace. In the top here, we've got a couple of our power transfer poles. I'll show you in a few moments how they clip into the skipper's seat. And what's really important about these is that's how the energy transfers from the transom, through the poles, the, the seat, and down the sides of the boat. So, if you'd like to come over here and have a quick look at how we assemble these, it's as simple as popping the pole down into the position available, and then pivot and locks in. Oh, that was a good sharp lock, that one. We'll do the same on this side. Down. Lock. You can see there's a beautiful sharp little lock that happens in that process there. That's when you know it's in place. We'll now pop this down and we'll start building the boat. So when we're building the boat, I like to start at the transom and work our way up. There's actually a neat little system that will show you. There's about seven or eight parts and we'll show you how simple that is to put together. Here, we start with the transom. Now, like every part of the boat, this is full of foam, but it's also really, really strong and rigid. It's as simple as clipping the sides in. You can see there's this really smart little T-pivot. Now, that T-pivot simply comes and slots in on this angle here, in that side. And if you'd have a nice little look at this side, we'll slot this down and into place. So that piece just went into place there, and it begins pivoting. Now, as this pivots down on the base, if you'd like to just pop around this side, we've got some stainless steel catches. Now, what happens with these catches, you'll see we've got one there, and on the floor on both sides, as this comes down, they will begin to lock into place. Now, there's two parts of the locking mechanism here. You've got the one on the floor, and then this really smart little latch here. Oh, it makes a good sound when it clips in. So if we go to manoeuvre them in, whoop, there it is, and down. You can see that's, that lip has to go below the stainless steel catch. And it's really important because that is now locked down into place. And if we look over on this side, we'll do the same. There it is. 
hear that nice little clip. Now that whole area is locked into place, which means this back section is now forming one rigid structure for the upward motor to push the boat forwards. So let's continue and pop the bladder over just like so. Grab our motor plate just to protect that. Nothing but a bit of cosmetics here. Over like so. All right, so here we got the skipper's seat. Now attached to this, you saw we've got our power transfer poles. And on the end of the power transfer poles are these neat little latches. Now what you'll see down here is there's a couple of little catches for these latches to go over. Now they simply go over like so, and then the seat pivots down and into place. And what's happening at the back here is it's caught. There's a particular little catch there. You'll see the blue mount has just popped out on the inside, which is in the right place. And it's as simple as coming over to each side of the seat, clipping it down. Oh, nice little clip. Two clips to each side. Well, that one's already clipped. And we'll pop over and do the same on the other side. Now, it's really important when pressing these down to make sure it's, it's, uh, it catches. So you'll see, as I'm pressing down, this lip is designed to go over and catch into place. So if we see a close-up of that, and if it doesn't, as this one's being a little temperamental, I was out before, got a bit of sand in these, it just simply clips over and bites neatly into place. There's another clip there. That part's now done. This is a full rigid structure at the back here, and we're gonna work our way up, putting this crew member's seat in, and then ultimately the rest of the boat. Now, because I'm doing this by myself today, it'll take me about maybe a minute from here, but with a mate, as this entire assembly process, we've done as little as 32 seconds. But don't worry, with a coffee in hand, a couple of minutes is just fine. So let's grab the crew member seat, and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to assemble. You simply take it, lay it across. Now, on each, each one of these seats, there's a really smart little catch system. This is what we refer to the tongue, and that tongue is designed to slot down into the catches available on the hull over there. So if I was to just reach across, place it in just like so, you'll, you'll see as I go to put this crew member seat in, this, uh, this bar will be uh, become slack. The reason being is the boat's becoming rigid and that's all a part of the structural integrity of the boat. So there it goes. So we're just gonna slot that down. That's clipped into place. Remove our, uh, our strut. Pop around to the other side, slotting these tongues down into the grooves available. There it is, neatly in place. And now we're onto the final part, which is the nose cone assembly a part that I really quite enjoy. So the nose cone consists of three pieces. We've got the cross brace, the foredeck, which neatly, whoop, neatly opens up, actually full of foam as well, like every part of this boat floats, and simply fits together like so. Whoopsie daisy, so if you put this one up like this, you'll see on the cross brace, there's a neat little groove. Now that's just going to slot into place, down and down. We now spin it around and grab our nose cone. Now this nose cone is just like that. It's got the same groove neatly on the inside and that's just simply going to slot over, down, into place. Now we see that this is looking like a completed piece. It's not just yet because on the back here, we've got our Kevlar string. So if I just spin this around for a moment, I'll show you what's happening over here. Now this is a, uh, this dainty little piece of string isn't actually string, that's Kevlar. That actually breaks at one ton of breaking strain. Not that we'll ever see that happening here with the quick boat, but we simply slot it through, line it up, making sure all the pieces are in place and pop it over. Now that is a completed nose cone. So with that, it's as simple as popping over the front and then the boat will be completed. So, I'll show you a close up of this in just a moment. It's as simple as slotting over. On the front here, there's a couple of neat little bullets. Now we nickname them bullets, really. They're just a part to, uh, to slot into place. That neatly clips in, goes over, just like so. That part's done. We come to the back here a clip that's one part of the clip which we'll show you a close-up of and then on this side that same tongue going down and clip and hey presto here we have a quick boat so now the boat's assembled 
It's as simple as, uh, as pulling it down with the nose cone and the, uh, the beach lift kit, which will be available soon. Or, if I can find someone, they'll give me a hand carrying it down. But it's that easy. So here we see the 3.7 meter adventure quick boat and uh, it's time to hit the water. Thank you for watching.